Hey guys, Tyler here. I'm unbelievably excited to be playing Patrick's Parabox. I've been waiting for this game for at least two years. I played the demo about a year and a quarter ago and absolutely loved it. This is a recursive puzzle game that is incredibly interesting. Now, it doesn't start off with recursion because it is kind enough to slowly work the player into an understanding of the rules of the world. And the rules of the game are simple. You have to push the boxes into their goals and get your into the goal with eyes. It is a very generous game because recursion can be absolutely complicated and convoluted, and this is a way to help people understand it slowly but surely. Those are just basic Sokoban style levels. Now we're going to have a level with Inception. Here we have a box which is actually a mini level itself. So you go inside it and you can push boxes out of it, and it itself is a box that needs to be pushed onto the goal eventually. Very cool. While it doesn't start off with obscenely challenging puzzles, it does teach you a little bit every single time. Like this one is, you can round a corner to access places you previously couldn't. Here's a little T piece, and you can use it in a lot of ways to navigate corners and spaces that you previously couldn't. So I gotta get this guy all the way up to over here, so let's just push it around and there we go. Not too bad so far. Now I get there's gonna be a lot of people that just want to get to the super challenging stuff and I understand, but this is very important for the people that may get overwhelmed about recursion just to slowly learn a lot of the intricacies of the game. Like that was one, you can use a level block to push around another block. That sounds very helpful. And here you can navigate a level and you can see there's a lot of wiggle room just to have a goal be inside the level. And here it shows that my own goal can be inside the level. Well, how does this work? Well, it's simple. You have to push the box outside this mini level and pork myself into this mini level. Now, those were the inception ones. I imagine is about to get to the real deal now. I did try to speed through this because I already did it in the demo while still explaining everything. Now, the people that are have been excited for the crazy stuff, well, it's not yet, but soon. First, we have to learn some more intricacies about the workings of the levels inside a level. Here, what I remember is that you can push a box into the level and then push them down together so you can go within the mini level, push out the box and push it into the goal and put myself into the goal. Here, it's a similar variant of that. Yeah, I haven't actually seen this level before. The idea is that you gotta push down the level within a level to about here, and then I can push this box in to here and then do a turnaround. So it basically gives you extra space because you can't push a box when it's against the wall in most cases. This one I recognize there's only one level that, or there's only one location that I can end in. And it's gonna be this one, so I can end up in that spot, and the rest of the boxes just have to go elsewhere. If that green box was placed in any of the other spaces, I would not be able to enter it. Because if you want to enter a, a, um, a recursive box, an inception box, it's got to be pushed up against another box. This level shows you can put a box inside a box inside a box. And go all the way in. So it's it, overall a very unique take on recursion. This looks like a challenge level. Oh, I recognize you. So I just have to get something to be up here. Oh, and there's another goal right here, of course. It's gonna have to do with a lot of turnarounds. So I'm gonna put you in here and then push you up. Push you down. And of course, now that the box is here, I can push it around and up and beat the level. I assume that's why it's right, is because it's just an optional challenge level that maybe just tests your skills. This one is a bit more of a learning level, and it shows that I've got to get some box to end here, and it can't be this one because it's up against the wall, so it's got to be this one, right? But the issue is there's also a box inside the box that needs to be completed, so I got to go in, push the box there, and then, because I did it up against the blue box, I was able to retrieve it from the wall. And this just looks like another example of that. So how about I take a stab at this? Push this up against the wall, push you in, and then I gotta push you up against this wall, and now I can retrieve it. 
This is a new level to me, wasn't in the demo. Seems fairly straightforward though, it's teaching an important idea. This is a more complicated application of the idea, I assume. Because here's what's gotta happen. Somehow I gotta push a box around a corner that's normally not possible, but if I use the box within a box to set up a box right at the edge of this bendy piece, I can now set it up so that I have space to push this out and into its goal. And a couple more levels here. This looks like a more complicated version of that. In fact, there's only one other goal. So it's simple, I gotta put both of these boxes down here so I can push the box here and then enter it because otherwise I wouldn't be able to enter it. And now I can put this corner piece right where it belongs and get myself into the goal. Six boxes, seven including the Inception one, eight including me. So the important thing is that this bendy piece has to either be located here or here. I believe they're kind of the same in that regard. Just the idea is that I need to enter the center. And look at this, I do have enough boxes to make this work. Whoops. So this should just let me in and win the level. All right, back to the learning sections. Let's head here. This is a nice level inside a level inside a level inside a level. I remember this classic one, just the big zoom, all the way just so I can retrieve this single little block. I mean, if this little level doesn't make you excited about the rest of the game, I, I bet there are some things that will later on, but we haven't even gotten to the crazy stuff yet. Now, this is where the game gets good because you don't just push random levels around, you can push the level itself around. Here's the recursive part. It is a level within a level within a level to infinity. So if I escape through the bottom, I also escape through the mini level and can push around my own level and escape here to get the own level into that square there. It's nuts. It's awesome. I genuinely love it. So now I'm gonna escape through the bottom so I can push this up, but I'm a little stuck, so I've got to escape and enter from this side and then push it down into its goal. So you just gotta find all the entrances and exits of the level itself and use that to your advantage. So here, I wanna push the level itself down so I can push this box out into its goal and get myself up here. Next, it's just another exercise of pushing the level down and using the exit to get the boxes into their appropriate goals, including getting myself into my appropriate goal. And let's keep going. Here, I've got to get the level into an accessible spot for me to manipulate it, so I escape through the top so I can push it down. And then I can push it around here, and I can repeat the process again through the top to finally get it towards its goal. Now I can carry on, but I do want to be a completionist here. I'm also curious what that goal thing at the top is. Actually, I'm really curious of what this is. What the hell is this? These are general puzzings, puzzle solving tips. Cool. A lot of this is moral support, but there's some helpful advice in here. It's mostly stuff that you'll care about if you're actually playing the game, not watching someone play the game. So here, this is a new level to me. The level within the level is just stuck in the corner. So I've got to get this box out somehow. And here, maybe the box can be helpful a little. So I can push it here and then enter through the bottom so now this gold box is accessible. And then I can exit through the bottom of the major level, do a whole turnaround, and now push this up and then finally get it and myself into the goal. Nice, and one more before I go another layer in. I think I do, I need to push this box out of the way, push the level through to here, and then push the box back so that I can push both of these boxes out. It's crazy how little I've ever actually forgotten about the demo. That was a year and a quarter ago, but it just sticks with me. That's how memorable this game is. And now is fully new territory. I'm excited to explore the empty. Seems that the music changes with every world. I love it. So what is the deal? This looks impossible to navigate. How on, oh, 
is empty space. Whoa, okay. So you can enter and exit that from anywhere, basically. But it's like just the void that you can go inside. Cool. Well, this seems like another idea of you can just push the level up against the wall so you can set the inside part. This is why the previous levels were important, so you can learn a mechanic that leads into this level. Here, how deep does the rabbit hole go? Pretty deep? Wait, what? Oh my god. You gotta push the level out of the level and then push the host level into the previous inside level. Reverse the order. I love it. So here, I've just got to get myself in, and does this work? No, it swallows up the level. Ah, oh, but you know what? That might be fine. Maybe not if I do it. Well, mmm. Oh, that is weird. Why don't I just go here? Actually, here's an idea. I push this in and myself in, and now I can push this out to the goal and get myself in. Okay, I like this empty space. It's very strange, but I can get behind it. I almost feel like I want to rinse and repeat of the previous level, where I push the box in and then push it out. And that way, set this up here, set this up here, and now I can escape to the right. Makes sense. Let's try this level. Now, only one box needs to make it here. Now, I bet we have to enter this, have it exit here. I bet we have to push this into the level and now I can exit. Ooh, I shouldn't have done it like that. Yeah, yeah, no, this works. And then you can push it over here, send it down and then bring it back up. Nice. Here's a level inside the void. That's just my, wait a second. That's just my goal. There's a wall on it. So it can be pushed from one direction. Cool and entered from all the rest. Well, then I imagine I'm gonna have to use this level to swallow the other cubes whole, or at least just get them in. So now that they're both inside, can I push the level like this? No. Wait, I can push it like this. Right, I see why. I think the important thing is that I get it up here, enter it, and then push it to this way. So now both of these blocks can exit and push each other. And with me at the goal, I win. Nice. Oh, already unlocked the new area. Let's let's keep playing this. Going for completionism. Wait, this is weird. Don't they just win? Oh, it's because you st <laughs> You don't start inside the whole level. Well, let me go back then. At least push these out first. It's like I want to push here, but then I got to push here. Ooh, something's not right. Maybe it's not as easy as I thought. Oh, well, no, I pushed the top one first, and now I can go down. It's just about the right order. Here, some fat levels within levels. I think the important thing is that this one goes up top. Then I get this one in, and let me just set this against the bottom. And then push you in so I can push you in here first first and then exit so this can go here and now I just win nice bring me over here lots of voids lots of stuff I got to push against walls well there's only one goal it's all the way to the right well it makes sense then to push the blue into the green and then push the yellow into the blue so let's do this one at a time here that's a decent enough setup. So you can bring this out, and now that it's stuck, you can retrieve the blue, and then, now that the blue's stuck, I can retrieve the yellow, and I win. Very nice. Let's go to the optional level first. This is a more limiting version of that previous level. Well, the way I see it, there's only two ways this can be done. I think I picked the correct one. Mm, did I though? No, I picked the wrong one. Because what's important 
is that I need to be able to enter this void myself and exit through here. And now, well, now I've got to retrieve this block. So maybe now I need to push it the other way. And now I can exit, and now I can make it to my goal. Very cool. Carrying on. Oh, nice. It is a recursive level. Oh! But haven't you all been wondering, why am I orange? No, that's not what you're wondering. What you may be wondering is, I can exit through here. What happens if you push the level outside of itself? Have you ever wondered ever wonder that? Are we going to see our first parabox? Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the void. So this is infinity levels. Did it look trippy at all? Honestly, it, it looked pretty normal. But we're on the edge of infinity and now... Oh, this is interesting. You can push it out once. And not quite lose. But you go out again and then the stuff is inaccessible. Yeah, so this is a lose state. It seems like the yellow boundaries just mean that nothing can enter or exit. Okay, cool. Void lose state. Don't do that. Don't create a par paradox. Instead, what I gotta do is go up and push this level down. And then if I just push this box out, I can use it to reach the goal. Nice. Carrying on here. I've got to push this up here, I believe, and then push this over just so there's a little bit of extra space. And now I can push the green block out and then in and then in and I win. Have I been orange this whole time and just not noticed? This is really weird. Well, regardless, it seems that the important thing is I push the boxes out from the bottom so they can do things. And if I push the main level down, I can also push one out from the top. And there we go. Three goals. Nice little recursion to cap off this world. I would say this world has been pretty easy too. I do expect this game to get challenging. I really do. I know there's like a good amount of you here looking for like mind bending puzzles. And in a game like this, it will happen. But I do appreciate the need for this game to urge the player in because for every person that's like this is too easy i want to see harder there's probably 10 people that are thankful that the game is teaching the fundamentals before getting to the, the real brain teasers so this level just seems to be reinforcing the fact that you can push the level into squares i almost want to do it like this here I've got to have it enter from all sides, so why not set up like a buffer square so I could do it anywhere. And then I can push this to the corner and push these in. I am surprised how quickly I got that actually. That was a good twist on the idea. Here I imagine it's just going to be a Pac-Man level. You line them all up and then, oh no, not quite. You can't go nom 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 because there's no room to push this. Well, but you can partially go nom nom. Like you can nom once here and then back it out and go nom 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 nom. And now it's full. A delicious meal. Here getting a level around the corner seems tough. Because I have to push the box here. Or the level into the box and now I can set up the win. And this just combines a few ideas of what we've learned so far. It's crazy how these are objectively weird and confusing puzzles, but because the game worked this into it, I almost feel like they're easy. It's taking the impossible and making it feel easy and make you feel like a god for figuring it out. So again, I've got to just push this up into the level so I can push it over and then down. All these are being solved in like 30 seconds or less, but they're not simple ideas. This one is a harder version of the previous level, because if I push this up against the wall and push the level into it, I can't actually get it to be here. 
So instead, I have to use this little bump here and have the level eat the square. And now I can solve it just like before. Nice. Moving on, let's see if I can complete this world. Woo, this looks like another weird Pac-Man level. Well, so I see that the blue level has to eat four yellows, but it looks like to me just the green needs to be last. Oh, but how are you, how are you gonna do that exactly? Is there any way I can have this go up somehow? I don't think so. This is weird. Let me reset real quick. Think about the order of things. Because this... Well, I can push this down and then... Oh, push this down. Never mind. I was really overthinking it. Yeah, the green box is on top. You just got to do it in right order. And now we get the satisfying, delicious meal. Just swallowed the whole buffet right there. Love to see it. Let's do the extra level. And there's no specific goals except for my own goal. Maybe I have to swallow this box first and exit from here to push this over somehow. I don't know exactly how, but somehow. Maybe that's just the important first step and I could do like some sort of cascade almost. Exit from here push this over and then push this. And then I'm getting kind of close. Maybe I did that slightly wrong. Yeah, the level suggesting to me that this is the first step. So maybe, oh, maybe it's just important that I get this box out. There we go. Yeah, that seems pretty big. So now what I can do is line up this box here line up the level to swallow the green thing and then escape just to push it in a better spot and then swallow swallow and now i can retrieve this goal okay that was a tricky one but still fair not extremely tricky but I, I, a big step up from the rest here i only have two goals first figure out how to get the yellow into here, and then second, figure out how to get the green to be here. Well, it seems like we're gonna have to do some carnivorous action once again. So eat the square, and then I can line this up to push it in, and now I can put the green one right here. I swear they're turning on their own. Here we gotta swallow the yellows, but have a gap in between them, huh? Well, I imagine one at yellow can go all the way in, back out, and then I can just swallow the other one and make it to the goal, and that's not too bad. Let's get the bonus levels and whatever the hell that thing is. That'll probably be the last thing I look at, the bottom left. This is a bunch of eating. So all four goals are inside the blue box, and you have to make sure the greens don't eat the yellows. What happens if I push two open mouths together? One does go inside the other. I have to know. So it is important that the green is on the bottom. Now, as much as I would like to set up a Pac-Man line, there's going to be some eating issues. And I imagine the green will eat a yellow. And there it goes. So we'll only have three of the goals. So, what the hell can be done? Oh, oh, I get it. Let me reset. I've got to set up a green piece and two yellow pieces right over here and then swallow the three of these all at a time and then as my last act swallow this something's not right though no everything's right never mind it's interesting it's because I pushed the level onto the green piece that only the blue piece swallowed the green piece and not the green piece as well. I thought it was gonna go two layers deep at once. You're telling me the blue's gotta go inside the green, huh? And the green has to park itself down here. Well, let me see then if I can eat you like this and then push in this yellow all the way and use the inside of the blue to push the yellow all the way into the green. 
And now if this exits, now I can have the green eat the blue, and that should win the level. Nice. What the hell is this? What? Oh, <laughs> it's a text-based level? What the? What the? What? What on earth? Okay, it's just a very, very minimalist version of the level. Here, I just gotta push this box down. And I put that here and put me here. Nice. Okay, well, I'm glad there's a text-based adventure of this too. Incredible. I'm excited to see what lies beyond. I'll even hop in just to get a tease of reference. And I'm excited to pick this up in the next episode. Hope you all are welcoming more Parabox because that's what we're going to be seeing in the future. Have a wonderful day and peace.